I want you guys to think about World of Warcraft. Okay. It's a world of fantasy and fun. I literally know where that is. That is from the fucking addiction video. I, I remember watching this myself. World of Warcraft once had over 12 million active players around the world. Yet as time has gone on, that number has dramatically dropped. Now some say that that's because people, yeah. they just got bored of the game, you know, it's been a long time. Yeah. But others have said that it's because of how Blizzard dramatically changed Warcraft's game formula. I think that might but have something to do with it. one thing is certain, when Classic WoW was released back in August, it was a tremendous success for the company, bringing tons of players back to the game yep. and making Blizzard a lot of that bling bling, Big if you truth. know what I'm saying. And now, Very the bottom trip. line is, because of Classic WoW's success, Blizzard is starting to make small Classic WoW-esque changes to the modern game. And that makes Mr. Mookluck a happy boy. Hi. What? Hey guys, my name is Nixium, the guy who is BAD at every game. I- And welcome back Wait. to another exciting- Wait a second, where do I buy one of those shirts? Uh, let's see. Where do I get one of those shirts? Shit. Okay, I'll find it somewhere. Uh, it, it's it's oh Nixium store. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to get one. Video where we are going to talk about World of Warcraft, the current state of the game, and yep. the future that the game is heading in and stuff. Let's All jump right. into it, shall we? Okay. World of Warcraft Classic. Bumpy year for Blizzard, I mean, let's be honest. From dealing say with the layoffs least. in the company, to having Battle for Azeroth labeled by many in the community as the quote, worst World of Warcraft expansion ever, WOD unquote, was worse. Yikes. And if that wasn't bad enough, you had this constant division and argument occurring yep. within what remained of World of Warcraft's community, the yeah, modern-day WoW fans versus the classic WoW fans. Which version of the game is better? The yep. current 2019 game with its quality of life changes and all of its polish? Or the gritty, no-nonsense, pain-in-the-ass version of the game that was classic WoW? Well, we had to wait until August to figure that out, but until that time came, we just had to listen to a whole lot of... A whole lot of this. All right, listen here, you little shit. First and foremost, Vanilla WoW had the largest population growth in all yep. of WoW's history. And you know why? Because, because the was game so wasn't good. catered to complete retards like you who True. are too lazy. And Classic WoW did finally arrive in late August, amazed. and well, it was a big success. Massive queue times, Blizzard having to continuously make more servers to fill the players' demands, Warcraft being did. on top of Twitch.tv again, the release of this 2004 hey, version of is. World of Warcraft has catapulted Blizzard Entertainment straight to the top. And guess what? The game only continued to grow as the weeks rolled on. I think and that's whether true. you're a big fan of Battle for Azeroth, or you're you're just a massive classic WoW only player. It's a good time to be a Warcraft fan. But what's interesting Thank God is that somebody recently says Blizzard it. has released the- Thank God somebody fucking says it. It's just a good time to play the game and be a fan of the game. Like, it, the game is doing well, people are happy about it for the first time in years. And I consider that a huge fucking positive. Uh, I'm very, very happy about that just in itself. Old video? No, it's not. It came out September 27th. Like, that was- that's like literally less than a week ago. The latest Battle for Azeroth patch, and what's arrived with the update is, well, kind of cool. First and foremost, we have the release of the updated Worgen and Goblin models, and that's something that the player base has been asking for since Warlords of Draenor well, the when all the other been. character models were updated. Not normal Except people. for the pandas, but nobody cares about pandas because <laughs> it's, it's pandas. That's and why. another thing that we are finally getting is this damned bee mount. Now yep. personally, I really don't care about the bee mount, but the player base has been begging for this stupid bee mount since the beginning of Battle for Azeroth. It's not now a why bee exactly does everybody and their mum want to ride around on a goddamn bee? I don't know. But people like bees, apparently. Hit that like button down below if you're a pretty cool guy that likes bees. Ah! 
got me. Yeah, he got Some me, man. Features he got me. The final chapters of the war Oh wait, campaign. I'm not even logged in. Also, an expansion Shit. of the recruit a friend system, bringing new features to the game that make it easier to recruit friends and play with them in Battle for Azeroth. But we're not exactly here to talk about all that. I mean, that's fine. But what we're really here to discuss is what else arrived with the latest patch. Yeah. Specifically, the things that demonstrate just how much classic WoW is having an effect. I wish you could have that helmet game. in game. First, let's talk about this new limited time raid that is coming to World of Warcraft, yeah. the Memories of Azeroth raid. Uh, now, this is the first thing that I want to talk about. I don't know what this is going to be, man. That's the big one, but yeah. let's talk about this first. Okay. Now, if it wasn't obvious that Blizzard is on a big nostalgia-focused campaign right now with World of Warcraft, then you've just been living under a rock, my friend. Since even before Classic WoW's release, the company has been pushing this concept of the good old days into the... I don't think that's a big deal. Like, this old raid thing, like, nobody's gonna give a fuck about it because it's an LFR, di it's an LFR difficulty raid that's gonna give no gear whatsoever. People are gonna do it once to get them out, then they're gonna never do it again, right? Like, it's cool that Blizzard is doing it, it's nice, but ultimately, nobody gives a fuck. Like, let's be real. ...guys of the player base and the consumers, and this is only yeah. a continuation of that. Blizzard needs money, fellas. I mean, like, let's be real. I drink the blood of children. Now, Blizzard already has put yeah. time walking into World of Warcraft, and we've had some events here and what there that the have taken fuck? us back to doing some old classic WoW content, like wow. the Molten Core Anniversary Raid, but we're seeing God, even more nostalgia thrown into the modern game. As this raid is going to take players back to the times of Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, and Cataclysm. Them. Now, for each times. time period in WoW's history, times. players will fight three iconic bosses, slay them, claim their loot, and if they're successful, they will earn a mount called the Obsidian Worldbreaker, if they're which successful. is a mount whose model is inspired by Deathwing. It's not inspired by Deathwing. It is Deathwing. Everybody knows it. So it's like, if they're successful, oh, wow, I can't wait to see if we can defeat this boss. Oh, he's so hard. Oh, no. Guys. It's gonna be a fucking joke. It's gonna be a fucking joke. You're just gonna do it, and that's it. It's just gonna be a fucking joke. Now this specific raid update probably isn't going to bring too many people back into World of Warcraft paying yeah. a subscription and playing Battle for Azeroth, but it's clearly meant to entice those players who played World of Warcraft during those time periods. I it's an so. attempt to target that audience, bring them into the modern game, and then by extension, maybe funnel them into classic World of Warcraft. Now this uh, might be a be little hard bit do. of a stretch of logic, yeah. but hear me out. If someone were to resub and come back to try okay. WoW again in this patch, they naturally would try out this piece of new content. Yeah. Now, after doing so, they would either really enjoy it and stick to BFA, or maybe they would get all nostalgic over the past and roll their hand at classic WoW instead. Either way, Blizzard has hooked a new player and they will get their $15 a month. <laughs> Yeah, that this is pretty accurate right here. I I, I, I agree with this whole this whole picture. Uh, this is them as soon as they introduce a new storm out into the game, right? Uh, no, here's why here's why I see it. It's like, yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I don't think that like a new raid like that is gonna entice that many people to come back. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about this, but like the new anniversary raid. I, I just I'm not I'm not that hyped about it honestly like I I think it's gonna be really easy we're gonna go in there one shot it on the first day and then that's gonna be it so <laughs> you know what what is there even to say about it so just as easy as classic raids well yeah exactly it's not meant to be a fucking challenge well then that's okay but like the thing is that Classic raids, there's a challenge to get into classic raids, right? So getting to level 60, like the classic raids are not necessarily challenging within themselves, but the raids are a reward because you have the best gear that comes out of the raids and it comes out of the raids in a binary fashion. You either, it either drops and you get it or it doesn't. It doesn't drop with a socket. It doesn't drop with a war forge or Titan forge. It just drops or it doesn't. And because of that, the raids and there, there's a reward structure that's built around that with retail. Wow. I can guarantee you that the raid is not going to be challenging. The rewards from the raid are not going to be compelling, besides probably the mount, right? Obviously, people are going to do it once for the mount, and that's it. And then, so what's the point? 
So it, it's not about like the game has to in order for, there has to be a challenge in the game or something that you have to do in order for a lot of people to feel like they're, they're enjoying it, right? I mean, it's the same reason why there are people that like games like Animal Crossing, true, but I think that's a big problem with WoW, right, is that it's not challenging at all. Classic WoW just has their challenge in a different place where the raids are the reward, whereas in retail WoW, the raids are the difficulty. And I think that's, it's fine, but you can't have neither. You have to have one or the other. Blizzard knows that nostalgia is currently hot in the market for yeah. them as a company. Oh, it always and so incorporating will be. more nostalgic elements into modern WoW based on the yeah. success of classic WoW and its nostalgia factor, I feel it's not so far-fetched of an idea. Mm -hmm. It's actually a nice business strategy. It's going to bring in I players. Agree. It will make them money. They want to bring in new customers, and they know that the right way to do that is to present to people old blizzard as the internet yeah. posters would say the kind yeah. of old school blizzard entertainment content that made the company so successful in the first place yep. and that leads me to the final major feature that came out with this patch and that is old alterac valley oh yeah now, if there's one way to clearly state hey let's bring some classic into the modern game well, this is it. Old AV is probably the best way to do it. It's a direct import yeah. of one of Classic WoW's most iconic battlegrounds into Battle for Azeroth. I mean, come on, people. It's clear that Blizzard wants the BFA players to experience some of that classic love as well, because, guys, if a player did get bored of BFA, heaven forbid, and they've experienced some classic-esque content, then maybe they'll be inclined to go check out Classic WoW, and Blizzard, by extension, is going to keep their $15 a month. Which is and it's smart. really as simple as that. It, it's very Dingle smart. Flash! Boom! I, I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Now, for those of you that have never done Classic Altric Valley and you've only done Modern Altric Valley and you hate it, understand that the Classic version You're is gonna hate nothing that one like too. the Modern version. It's a game of strategy, yeah. collecting resources, summoning NPCs to help you claim ground, and it could take days to complete just one match. Uh. Yeah. You heard that right. It's not like the current version of the map where it's just a that. race to the enemy boss, you quickly DPS him down and that's it. That's what we used to do back in vanilla, dude. I don't know about you guys, but I remember like you would run in there, dude. You just fucking pop off, do AOE down Drek and that's it. Because like, here's what people are going to do, right? Is that, uh, let, me, let me explain why it's not going to happen like this. Is because players now in the game, and this is just in general for all games, People don't play games for fun. They don't. They do not play games for fun anymore. They play games for the rewards. They play games to min-max. The entire meta around games is min-maxing. Uh, you know, like look at Fortnite, look at WoW, look at everything like that. Rush Strat was TBC. People are going to do the same thing in Vanilla WoW, right? They're not going to prioritize PvP. Most people are there for the rewards, and because they're there for the rewards, they will not engage in PvP because PvP does not end the game in the way that they want it to. So I think that the player base, because the player base has changed and the perspective and the direction of the way the player base goes towards rewards has changed, you can never really have old Alterac Valley again. Obviously, you're going to have some matches that last forever. Yeah, of course. But for the most part, I think people, after about the first few days, are probably just going to go for getting their rewards, and that's it. This is a whole new ball game. Times change. There Personally, I think it's great to see that Blizzard is taking some small cues from Classic WoW's success, and I think we're going to see more as time goes on. I mean, Classic WoW only just came out. From bringing back more nostalgic raids from World of Warcraft's history, to yep. quite literally adding a Classic WoW battleground to the modern game, I think Classic WoW's momentum is going to have more of an effect on Battle for Azeroth and beyond than people realize, including me. Now, this might I be hope wishful so. thinking. But it's yeah, even possible I really hope that so. Blizzard might be inspired by Classic to maybe overhaul the entire level up process for the modern game, making it more interactive, immersive, and role play ish once again. But, well, that's a video and a discussion of ideas for another time. So, yeah. if you do want to stay tuned for that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to receive notifications on when I upload. Oh, uh, okay. Here I go.
To say that I'm excited for World of Warcraft and its future, that would be an understatement, guys. And I'm not just talking about Classic WoW either, I'm talking about BFA too. You know, we've seen how the community has evolved over the past year or so. We've seen how Blizzard has BFA. evolved as a company. Everybody and hates well, BFA. I mean, I'm just eager to see what fate has in store for us. Maybe yeah. Classic WoW really will kill the modern game, as some say. Or maybe it will just die out in less than a year. But either uh, way, I, I, don't I think, think so. that the recent release of it has taught the gaming industry a lot of very valuable lessons about- I, I think, honestly, Classic WoW is going to- it will decline to a point, but it seems to me, and this is like just purely anecdotal. This is purely anecdotal, so keep that in mind. Every single person that I know who's hit 60, even though they have nothing to do in the game, they still log on and play every single day. And they don't even do anything. They, they don't even do anything. They're like, oh, let's go run BRD again. What do you need? Nothing. Let's just go run BRD. Like, there's, they, don't, they don't do anything. Like, they just sit around in Ironforge or, or whatever, right? There's nothing that they're going to fucking do. Um, I, I don't know. And so, like, whenever, whenever all the rest of the content comes out, I don't know anybody at level 60 that even anybody that I've leveled up with at the beginning of release that's quit the game. No one. And that is really impressive to me. The fact that nobody has fucking quit. Every single person that I did my first raid with is still playing the game. And they're still raiding. And I think that's fucking awesome. Ozzy, Ozzy got banned. A sense of community and a sense and he's of achievement. And by the way, Ozzy is already re-leveling and he's like level 30 already. So uh, he'll be back. When playing an MMORPG. So maybe if Classic WoW continues to be a great success, we will see it change the face of MMORPGs in the future mm -hmm. entirely. But I guess we're going to have to wait to find out. Again, my name is Nixium, everybody. If you liked the video, give it a like, sub if you want, share your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you would like to follow me on social media or learn how this video was made, check down in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all with my next project. That was a good video. Uh, that was a very good video. Uh, doesn't even understand why Classic was so successful. I'm sure he does. I mean, he's played it forever. Uh, as...